and now we can fire in. When I go fishing, I always have my boat to the rivers because the food for the fish is coming off the rivers. Off, uh, see, it is common sense. You know, a guy that never goes fishing, he goes the first time, he goes on the water. He says, fish is in the water. No, no, no. Fish are there where the food is. Where is the food coming from? Always running off from Mother Earth. And where the water runs in, the waterfalls. The, see, there is a, you, have, you become a part of Mother Nature. To paint landscapes. I know, I know Mother Nature is so devil. Oh God, oh God. I'm, I think sometimes, I, if I dig myself in the ground, there will be other Bill Alexander ground out there. Because I feel that is 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 a common sense, you know. You can with certain things are doing certain things on Mother Earth, and it's so common sense. You better follow Mother Nature. I have a hatchery. I have to follow Mother Nature there. I cannot. I reroute the creek, and the creek reroutes themselves back again. So, the, like Mother Nature tells me, don't ever touch that creek. I can help. I can help along. Yes, see, that's the whole thing. We have to help along. And then we are doing right. Why I talk about it? Because I want to let you know, when you paint landscapes, you better become a nature boy, become a part of this world. Then it's no problem to paint Mother Nature. Do not. I rather help nature along and, and uh, every tree, even the Christmas tree. I never had the guts to cut the tree down, to cut the tree down and put it for Christmas out there. I rather take a little tree out with the roots, put it in a pot, put them in the house and tell the tree, don't worry too much. I put some nice lights on you and when you, I put you back in Mother Nature and that tree grows so wonderful again. And I feel I'm a part of that tree. You know, I really, you see, that is what it is. Life on earth, either you help life along or you kill it. And I can see sometimes all those good doers sitting in the offices say, I have no idea what Mother Nature is and they will tell us how to do it. That's the problem. Okay, I have spoken. I put myself in a certain mood. And that's what I like to talk first about all those things. So we put ourselves in a certain mood in order to put that on that almighty canvas. Here you have a white canvas, there's nothing on. And I, I must know before I start what I want to have on there. See, that will come when you become a real powerful artist. It took me most a lifetime. I'm 70 years old and, and I know it, uh, right now I feel so comfortable. I cannot even miss. It is impossible for me to, 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 to do wrong because I have brainwashed myself to such a point that I think I'm the greatest artist on earth. You know, next to God. When I talk about me, I wish you would think like that. See, that's what made me what I am. Try to, see, I will not be there. The time will be, when you're 70, you live on borrowed life. The time will come where you are there. And I want to see you in power. You painting, you know, creating. Creative power makes a human being. It made me a different human being. It is not on a canvas anymore. If you come to my place where I live, you will see a paradise. And I mean it is a paradise. Because I create on land now, on trees. I talk to the trees. I talk to my fish. I have a hatchery. I, <clears throat> I bring life into the world. And it is all creative power. It, because you are an artist. You are a living artist. You are not a dead pigeon. Try to think about that. Because this makes you to a different person. Your wife will like you better, or other way around, your husband will like you better, because you are, you are a different person. I'm not grumbling, I'm not mumbling, I'm very, very happy with myself. It is a wonderful way of living to be a real artist. I think that is a real artist. I have seen all kinds of tiny Tims. I have seen all kinds of garbage. I have seen if they couldn't do it with the brush, they did it with their dressing up, or they did it grout funny hairs on them. They, they, uh, I'm sorry. Now we come to the point. Become 
if he really wants to do what I show you, become a solid son of a gun. And that makes you, that makes you what you, I think you would like to be that way too. Happy days are here again. Oh, ho, ho, the happy days are here again. Make always a happy event. When you start painting, grab that big brush and make yourself happy. Even if you're not happy, but there's a way of, I always make myself, condition myself to, now I paint and I want to have an almighty painting. It got to be a friendly painting. It got to smile at me and, and then I have to smile. Naturally, if you get, if I smile at the canvas, the canvas smiles back. Okay, I have spoken, I have spoken. Love you!